Cities have a phenomenon called the urban heat island effect, which is primarily due to the generation of heat by cars, air conditioning, buildings, people. We know that people in cities are disproportionately affected by climate change. So I was curious to see how we can use cities as part of the solutions to both mitigate and adapt to climate change. I had read an article about how new paint was being developed that could absorb some heat and reduce temperatures of surfaces. And I know that endless graphics and tables don't really move people. I had heard about our new dean of the art school, Kim Pinder, who is an expert in urban art. And I reached out to her and I said, hey, is there something that we could do together to move people and inform them, inspire them through art in cities? We decided, wow, we should try and build some kind of relationship, some programming together around community mural making and this cooling paint. You know, we have a mural that is on Mill Street in New Haven. That was the final result, but I should say it's not over. We're gonna build this project also around training up local artists in the art of mural making. And so then to actually create a sustainable art community for so many of the empty walls that are in New Haven. Art can pull you into thinking about an issue that you may not have wanted to or even thought you ever would. And I think that's the, the storytelling capability of all of the arts. If art or cool murals can inspire people to have conversations and then ultimately act on climate change, it's a success.